Kumusta kayong lahat? Uh, good morning uh, everyone. Uh, welcome back to our channel, the Asian Mechanic Guy. And for today, we got this. What year is this? 2000. Come on. 2006. That's Caravan. So we got this 2000 Dodge. 2006 Dutch Caravan and the complaint of this car it doesn't have a light on the cluster so I'm gonna start the car as you can see in here nothing you turn on the light you can see just the background light I don't know if you could see it but as you can see light is on supposedly you can see something in here and you can even see the park the reverse so basically no light on the uh, cluster I'm gonna turn the signal switch turn signal switch nothing same thing nothing turn on this hazard nothing radio even the radio look at <laughs> nothing sick nope nope so everything is off no light oh there is oh there is a radio I thought there's no radio there is a radio yes, that's good so there is a radio it's just that we don't have light in here even the I think RPM, let's see the RPM. Nope. Look at, I'm pressing the gas. RPM should, you know, go up, but look at, even the fuel, all the needles, is down. So, uh, I already um, researched last night, because this car was uh, brought uh, last night. And the most common uh, culprit uh, of this uh, problem is that there is there is a crack on your uh, circuit board of your uh, cluster of your cluster so my plan is to you know uh, remove the cluster and let's uh, check if there's a crack on your circuit board but pretty much uh, uh, based on what I researched and also I did watch a couple of uh, YouTube <laughs> you know uh, this is the common problem crack uh, circuit board all right so let's just you know remove a couple of uh, uh, plastic cover in order to remove this uh, cluster okay let's do it all right guys so I'm not sure if we still need to remove the one that the one below seems like we can just oh, there you go. pop this out and then we can all right next one so there were like two screw in here. So it seems like we don't need to remove those plastic below. But anyway, I already removed it, so just leave it like that. Let's just continue. Okay. This. Again, they have the same size. And then, oh, probably there's two more screw on the top. Not too good. Yeah, you cannot see it, but it's on the top. Hold on. So it's over here. There's like one in here. Remove it. This one, then another one over here. Again, this is 2006 Dutch Caravan. I guess the one that I watch is 2002. That's why I remove the cover, the one below right away. This is 2006. Maybe it has different design of 
dashboard. Maybe now we can remove it. Let's do it slowly. Oh yeah. Steering wheel. Yeah, I think that's all now. Got to remove this. But still. Don't, 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 don't. Oh, okay. Take it. And that's your cluster. It has three, or I mean four. Cluster. It has four screw one, two, three, and four. I can I think I can use my oh yeah, I can use this. Be careful not to drop it. All the same size. Here. All right. Then this one. All right. one right there good uh -oh. need a long Phillips screwdriver all right so we're using Phillips screwdriver let's screw no. all right last one Alright, now, hmm, it's not that bad, okay, there's the connection over here, you see that, pump like that, then, how do you press it, oh boy, I think you need to press it. Oh. Where do I press it? I think this one. Let me use a screwdriver. Press this, I guess. Oh, oh, oh. Oopsie. So you can remove that. And press it. There you go. Come on, there you go. Can uh -huh. move this circuit board. All right. All right, guys. So this is your cluster in the circuit board is at the back. So I think we gotta remove this white part. So you have to like do it. <laughs> this way I never expect this the one that I watch is again is different maybe again that's 2000 you know 2002 but anyway the way I do it is get a small plus screwdriver sneak it in here 
then push this one then it will pop out so there's a couple of this all around and also I think there's a what's this torques two torques one in here and one in here that need to be removed so I'm using this uh, T10 Torx 10 it's not that actually tight but you can use you know you can loosen it by hand look at that then another one in the side so again it's not that tight Now just continue popping it out using a plus screw driver. This one, then sneak it there. This one. Yeah. I think that's it. And this one too. Again, this is 2006, so it's, it's different from the one that I. Oh, oh, so there is this one that goes in here. Okay, so make sure don't lose it. That's it. And then that's your circuit board. Holy smoking! Too small, but you can always use, you know, your cell phone to check for cracks. Well, let me just use my cell phone just to use as my magnifying glass, and then let's see if there's a crack. Okay, I'll do it. So let's go on my camera or photo. So let's do like this. <laughs> See it? Like that. Come on. So let's do it one by one. Over here until we could find the cracks. Okay. Let me do it first and then I will show it to you if I found uh, a crack uh, circuit board. Alright guys. So I did really check this one. But I couldn't see any cracks in here. Because mostly, uh, see this, this is your connector, right? So at the back, you can see the connection. I just clean, just clean it and I don't see any cracks. But over here, see this thing? So there's like a burn mark in here. I'm not sure if that's the burn mark, but it seems like, and also over here. And this side so those are the only thing that I so I guess we're just gonna try to put it back again and let's see if there's some changes otherwise we're gonna call it a bad you know cluster and we couldn't fix it we're just gonna probably go to the junkyard and look for you know cluster but I'm not really sure <laughs> about you know your odometer uh, yeah it's kind of sucks though I couldn't find any burn or any crack in here it's just I noticed this this one this one I'm not really sure if this is a burn mark but it's look like a burn mark in here and also in here but other than that it look 
pretty clean and this one I clean it up so let's just put it back and you know pray it will work uh, alright guys so let's put this on temporarily and let's see if it's gonna work Put it all the way. Let's turn on the key. Nothing again. Nothing. See that? Hold on. Did it work? Did it work? Did it work? Alright guys, let's go over here in the fuse box. Let's go on your turn signal. Fuse, where's your turn signal? Okay, ace fuel pump. Huh. Uh, you know what? There's a hazard right there. Anyway, hazard is connected to your turn signal. Let's try this. So 20 amps. So 25 modules, starter, this one. Try to check this one. Let's, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I think we found the problem. I'm not sure if this will fix the problem though so as you can see it's busted it's broken so let's replace this okay so we got this 20 amps 20 amps right there I think you could see the difference the little one is still intact so let's put it on I hope this will fix the problem. Let's put like for the time. Alright, so let's go check if that oh I burned something. Ha <laughs> holy crap man <laughs> holy smoking look at that <laughs> What really? It's just a fuse? Look at that We're already in hazard Really? Really? Can't believe it, just a fuse? Really? Oh my god. Oh yeah, because that hazard goes to like a uh, integrated module. That output right there. Wow. <laughs> Let's start the car. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. Oh my god, <laughs> it's working now. Look at the RPM, look at the fuel gauge. Oh yeah, <laughs> that's 20 ampere fuse for the hazards. Fix everything. What really? Uh, anyway, well, it's just a lucky guess, but. <laughs> It works. Oh, I'm just gonna put everything back. <laughs> oh boy. So, alright, guys. Everything is back. And the first thing I notice is when you open the door, you hear this chime sounds, and you can see right away this odometer reading. So, it really works now. It's really working now. Let's put it on the park. There you go. Holy smoke. Oh. 
Wow! <laughs> Drive, park. Oh my god. Everything works now. Just <laughs> this fuse, the hazard fuse, 20 amps. Oh well. <laughs> Lucky guess, but it works. So, guys, <laughs> that's it. So, if you had any question about this repair, uh, please uh, comment down below. And if you like also this video, uh, please uh, give a like and thumbs up. And consider uh, subscribe my channel. So, that's all for today. And see you on my next video. Bye.